Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. This is gonna be a quick video showing you all of the steps and exactly what to do for the one system package. Now that includes the pro coating, the five year warranty pro coating. If you are an authorized um, installer, if you will, you can offer the five year warranty. If not, you still have access to the coating. You just are not allowed to offer the warranty uh, unless you're approved through me as an authorized installer. So with that said, let's get on to it. And I'm gonna turn the camera around right now. All right, this is a 2009 Chevy HHR SS. Super nice car. I have already prepped everything but this door. I'm literally going to take you step by step into the one system package. And this is my top tier package that does not include any paint correction per se, but will include the universal all-in-one application. So, without further ado, I've got my lovely wife, Tony, behind the camera, and I'm gonna take you step by step now. So step one is obviously the wash. So, I've got the Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 diluted in this bottle. Um, I dilute it in a gallon, and then I just disperse into the 16 ounce bottle. So two ounces to one gallon of water is all you need for lube for infinite use detail juice one, which is right here. You also need a quarter of an ounce in the per one gallon of water for the Gary Dean wash method, uh, which is a rinseless wash method in the bucket. So you will lube the panel so that the rapid encapsulation technology in the product can break up the dirt and grime before you ever have to move it physically, uh, which the benefit to that is going to be that you are not installing more scratches than you have to into the vehicle. So soak it until your little heart is content. Um, I usually put enough on where it starts to run down and that's really all that matters to me. So with that, you then would take your clean towel out of the bucket, give it a little bit of a ring, and start from top to bottom. just like so. And then, with the Gary Dean wash method, you'll discard that towel. Now, for all intents and purposes, this is already washed and ready for clay. So I've got my fine grade, ultra fine grade Japanese clay bar that you can find on detailjuice.com. The first order of business is the clay bar to remove the contamination that does not come off in the wash the bonded contaminants that are stuck there that you can't get off by just washing the car. So you can feel the grit. If it's super heavy, you might want to go over it several times. You want to be very thorough with this clay bar process because that's going to remove all the contamination that if you didn't remove, you'd be sealing into the paint with the coating. And you're only doing yourself, well, you're not doing yourself any favors is my point, if you're not getting all the contaminants off. Now you can see the clay bar is pretty nasty. Now you would knead that all up. And what I do after I remove the bulk is I'll go back one more light time and you'll notice I've got a clean side now. And then I'll just go over it one more time real quick, make sure I didn't miss anything. Pay attention to whether or not you feel anything on the surface grabbing at you where you might need to focus in that area a little bit more. And when you're happy with the surface, I'm pretty happy with that. I got a bunch of grime from underneath that rocker panel, but the side that I used on the majority is still clean. So I'm happy with that now. 
next step is to take your drying towel and dry the surface. So now this door matches the rest of the car because I've already done the rest of the car with this same process you just saw. So now you'll dry it all up. Now remember, this same exact process can be done to anything. Boats, RVs, any of it. Universal All-in-One and all the One System products are designed for, and it says on the label, motorcycle, RV, ATV, auto, marine, golf carts, aviation. Awesome for any of that. So, with that said, the next order of business is to use universal clean and prep. to remove any and all wax sealant or whatever else is on this vehicle. This dilution right here is one to seven. So what I generally do with my spray bottles, I'll put two ounces in the 16 ounce spray bottle and fill it with water. So two ounces to 14 ounces of water is how I use universal clean and prep as um, my solution to remove everything from the surface. Alright, so that's there. Now you literally just wipe it until it all goes away. You will see a little bit of a haze being left behind. The haze is totally normal. It is actually the primer in the product that's left behind to help protective products bond better. So, if you see a little bit of haziness, it is okay. Don't even bother wiping it off. The next step is the universal all-in-one polish. And that is going to remove all the primer anyway. Uh, universal all-in-one has the primer built into it as well as a little bit of the ceramic acrylics blend. So you could stop after the next step if you want or you could just put the coating on right now because you're, uh, you're decontaminated and it's free of anything and everything. You can feel the surface is really grabby. When you've done that, you know, you know there's nothing else on the surface. So, with that said, you just want to show them there's a little bit of the residue on the window that we can see. So, if you, I don't know if we you can, it. but... See the, the residue is gone where I just wiped my finger. But just leave it, it's fine. Even if you're going straight to coating from this and not using the universal all-in-one, you can put it right on top. Don't need to remove it. In fact, it's good that it's there because like I said, it's a primer, it's a priming catalyst to help the protective product bond better. So now that that's all done, the very next step is universal all-in-one. I recommend you use the Harbor Freight Dual Action Polisher on speed five with the five inch backing plate uh, from Buff and Shine that I sell at DetailJuice.com as well as the five and a half inch orange European foam pad. What I do with this is you don't need a ton. I put three pea-sized dots on the pad I will do, with an all-in-one, I will do this whole door with this one polishing situation. So speed five, always have the surface of the pad on the panel before you turn it on.
further than this, I want to tell you, it is always best practice to tape up your trim. I do not, because I'm a seasoned professional, or whatever you want to call it, and I stay away from the trim. But if you happen to not apply the tape, and if you happen to get either the Universal All-in-One or the Ceram Acrylics Pro Hybrid Coating on the trim, it is not the end of the world. Your Universal Clean and Prep dilution will remove it if you get it off fast. So once you notice it's there, finish the panel and go right back after it and get it off and you'll be just fine. So, with that out of the way, we get a uh, clean towel. I'm sweating like a, whoo, like a champion right now. Alright, I got all of this uh, Universal All-in-One off the panel. It's very glossy. It's glossier than all the surrounding panels, which is exactly what Universal All-in-One is for. It cuts a little, a little bit more than you might think but it polishes to a very high shine and leaves behind some protection. Um, this is the point where a lot of people ask me, do you need to wipe down with Universal Clean and Prep again after Universal All-in-One? The answer is no. The technology is all built in where it has a base layer of that ceramic acrylics already. It also has the primer built in. So what we're trying to do before this cures is put the coating straight on top. So that's where we're at now. So this is the 2020 Ceram Acrylics version 3 uh, Pro Hybrid Coating. Shake it up. I sell these applicators on DetailJuice.com. This is what I recommend for applying the coating to your vehicle. You will put a little bit on the foam applicator, just like so. That's enough to pretty much do this whole door. Um, again, you can, you don't want to get this on the trim, but if you do, it can come off um, without a, a ton of work with Universal Clean and Prep before it cures. If you don't put it on before it cures, or if you don't take it off before it cures, it's going to be really difficult to get it off. So you want an even application, and that's the most important part. more as needed. Um, you should only use about a half of an ounce per car of this stuff. Uh, it's more important to have an even application of the ceramic acrylics than it is to have a thick application. So material is not what we're looking for here per se. Obviously you need a good solid coat, but it's most important to put it on evenly than it is to worry about thickness of the actual coating on the surface. Now you can layer it after 48 hours if you'd like. There's no need. You can layer it, you can waste product, you can, you can buy as much as you want. I will sell it to you until my heart is content making all that money, but here's the reality. I don't bullshit you guys, and the truth is one coat is fine, and you can maintain with either the V3 Hybrid Boost uh, from the Max Protect line or Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 is my personal preference. They both, both of those products have the same base formula, but as far as um, the Infinite Use Detail Juice 1, there's better value there because it's dilutable, but beyond that it also has additional polymers and stuff in the blend to give you more slickness and gloss. So basically there you go. What I generally do is I'll go around the whole car and apply it to the whole car, and then I'll come back around where I started and, and polish it off. If you'll get close up and see, you can see where the haze is. The cool part about that is when uh, it hazes up, you know that it's ready. Um, this is our application system, unlike other solvent-based coatings. Uh, this particular situation uh, is beneficial because you can really see your high spots. And you've got about an hour after it's applied to come back and uh, remove it. But it'll start to tack up pretty fast. Um, 
You want to check by just doing a little swipe. It's not quite ready to come off yet. But what you want to do is you want to also do your glass with this stuff. Okay? You can do plastic, this plastic here. You can do your mirrors. Highly recommended on all the glass, the windshield, all of that. But once it's all cured, that looks okay. You literally just wipe it smooth. You're basically just smoothing it out at this point. That's all you're doing. Just want to make sure it's all smooth and you don't have any high spots. If you happen to get a high spot that's trying not to budge, all you really need to do is get some infinite use detail juice one and spray it on there and it'll break it down, but it won't move all the product out of the way, which is what you want. No streakiness, just awesome gloss, and it is so slick. And that's it. That's the uh, 2020 Ceram Acrylics version 3. Or I should say, it is the version 3. The year may or may not matter, depending on how fast technology works for us. Um, version 3 Ceram Acrylics Pro Hybrid Coating. Five years this stuff lasts, and it's been proven to last that in Florida on in the saltwater slash marine environment, you'll get about three. But uh, awesome stuff. Door looks great. And uh, I couldn't be happier with these products. Uh, I have engineered them to do exactly what I need them to do as a professional detailer and a car enthusiast. As you guys know, or maybe you don't, I have multiple cars myself. I love them. I'm a car hobbyist for sure. And this system is where I've been led after years and years of not only detailing, but also doing my own due diligence and research. Awesome stuff. Like I said, I would say that. My name is on every bottle. But if you don't mind, I'd love the chance to earn your business. If you've got questions for me, 813-846-4406. Check out DetailJuice.com for all these products. If you want to be a an actual installer of the, the five-year warranty program, uh, an authorized installer, reach out to me directly. Uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, processes and what I've got going on. And you'll see more stuff like this. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.